Whew. Close. Physical resistance gem. Huh. That's fun. Help? Nope. Anyway. Huh? A lever? That was new. Most people still use doorknobs. Well, that was simple. Wait! There's something over there. Up! Oh. Up! Oh. Nope! Oh wait, but if I go over there... Ah, well, what the hell. That was always a rush. Oh, I can get back. Awesome! Gimme. And now, we can go back on what? Without 20 hit points. Huh. Thank you. Oh, come on! Fine. Hmm. Ah, thank you. Well, I mean. More health is always good. Hey guys! There it was. Sky Ripper's armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. I'm the device an engineer. was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. But first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart, a core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. More than likely. So, uh... It was a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself. Only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices. And he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. Well, obviously we are going to get the core then. <laughs> you don't have to act a parrot and repeat everything others say. Well, technically you said that yourself, but... Uh... Whatever. He looked up at the old trees around him. They were so big and so old. They'd been there before he was born, and they'd be there after he'd passed into legend. Was he confronting his own unimportance? What had got into him? He was no philosopher. Yeah. Anyway, who cares? He was plenty important. He was a hero, and soon he'd prove it. I mean, well, let's see, a few ways to go, so let's go this way then, 
He'd once met a pirate captain. He used hooks to get around his ship. Oh, what was his name again? Uh, Ronaldo. Perhaps. What is this? Okay, fine, why not? Whee! <laughs> I see no reason not to. crafting materials. Now all he needed was a crafting... There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Hmm. One more water essence and a shit ton of ore and I can craft every single soil that's left. Huh. Hmm. Where did that go to? Up. And done. There were fewer and fewer trees. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. Where are they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This well, was an unhealthy place to be. Yeah, this place indeed seems like it sucks. swords have any difference uh, damage wise well look at that is this it uh, judging by all the crystals here is I'd say that as soon as I pick that up I'm actually going to explore around for a bit before taking that okay there's nothing here gimme the 20 sided core made him feel physically sick once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The what now? The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Yeah. That made him feel better. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now, he had to make his next move. You don't have to There was carry a key that. Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, uh, I'm going to end up blowing myself well, up. Of course. If, I... if you've just assembled a weapon out of legend that can exile gods from the world, you'd want to have a scientist or two look at it. And even if they disagreed and he had time, he could ask Calaveras himself. Yes, the observatory would be his objective. 
Yeah, I mean, I'd probably use that nuclear bomb that most likely is to blow myself up and... Yeah. That would happen. And then I would feel stupid. Well... Why had the parts of the Sky River only surfaced now? Thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had dismantled You read this from a journal. The mad Emperor Isengrim had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Was that why these ancient artifacts were rising out of the ground? How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. Indeed. Down you go. Oh, nearly a level up. There was an inscription. No spitting. <laughs> yeah, what you got, bro? What you got? Finally, some health. A whole ten of it. More energy, I really don't need it right now. doing anything or is it just chilling there? Damn! Well, now we are fucked. Banano had felt better. Yeah. I'm kinda... I'm kinda fucked here. One hit and I'm done. A legendary weapon was exactly what the rebellion needed. They were outnumbered. The once kind emperor had become a tyrant. But his ravens stayed loyal, for he fed them his victims, and the other animals were too frightened to rebel. Renato shuddered at what the emperor was trying to do. To bring back the lost gods, the black harvest, the black sun? No. He would stop that toad, no matter what the risk. Okay. Now I can... technically make any sword I want. I just need a... Uh... Did I have gone over there? Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. I just need to find myself a workbench and a shit ton of ore. Okay. And some health, preferably. A lot of it. Well, they really needed to redecorate anyway. Well, come on. Ah! So, let's see. Oh, but I could upgrade. Oh. I really do. No, I have to get all the weapons first. First, the oh, I can't get that one yet. Okay. So let's get the uh, this one. That should take what four points of the damage they deal if they deal two damage, uh, twenty damage each. Interesting design. And, uh, rather pointless. 
We'll always have Paris, he thought. And then he died. Well. Mom, at least I didn't die at the gallows. Oh boy. So those things deal even more damage. Once you try it, right up. you're hooked. What is that? For? Boy, some people were just liable to explode if you upset them. Well, fuck. First, uh, unofficial, uh, official, unofficial death. Damnable. Well, we need one more wind essence and more ore. Then we are, then we are in money. We need a hecton of more. Why am I using this? Give me my flame sword back. Hey. Hey. I'm a Firefox, thought Renato. Ah. Renato was thrilled. The scientists seemed to think he'd put the Sky Ripper together right. But one toad was worried. Yeah. Sky Ripper could tear a hole in existence itself. There are invisible strings that tie the universe together. If Sky Ripper cut one, the hole would widen and widen till our whole existence fell into it. Another toad sighed. Oh, Irving still believes in string theory. At least go see Calaveras. Hmm, yeah, said the worried toad. He knows more than anyone else has forgotten about the Transcendent Emperor. If anyone could tell him how to use this weapon safely, it would be Calaveras. It was he who had told Renato how to find it in the first place. Well. But maybe he had to give up on using it as a weapon. Maybe he had to go to the secret rebel base and ask the generals there what he could do with a weapon that he dared not use. Fuck it! We are going to see this guy. Well, he should have known he'd have to consult Calaveras again. The scientists at the observatory were smart enough. But what did they know of the Transcendent Nothing! Emperor? He hoped it wouldn't delay him too long. The Rebels had scheduled the final battle soon. Every day they delayed risked the exposure of the secret base. And some soldiers were already drifting back to their homes and families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calaveras would fix the Sky Ripper for him. And then he would win the final battle. Maybe it was the cold, but after a few steps, Renato's optimism started to slump. What if Calaveras couldn't help? Did Renato dare use the Sky Ripper? Oh, he hated that he had chosen this path. It was so much simpler to rescue friends and attack enemies. Even if some of those friends were more trouble than his enemies, some of those enemies had been friends before and might be lovers after. <laughs> no, okay, it wasn't all that much simpler. Indeed. No. Physics made his brain hurt. That, at least he was sure of. Yeah, I don't think. Just let me do the thinking. And, a little better. And uh, you just do the killing. Ah! Oh, thank you. 